ThePokeCapital.com is the official sponsor of the MLPB. What is going on YouTube? Laughing Pikachu here. Today for the Major League Pack Battles Playoffs, we are going to be opening up something super special. We are hyping things up, picking things up one notch because guess what guys? We're opening up a Hoopa EX10. So previously for the Major League Pack Battles, we were just opening up like three packs of the same set. Today we are opening up a tin. There are four packs in here and there are sets, like there are packs from various sets. So things just got real guys. Things just got super fancy, super awesome, super fast. And I just said super way too many times. Like it's just, it's not necessary. Um, but today we're going up against Tim L Pokemon. So go check out his video and his channel in the description below. And um, also, if you guys want to watch me open up another tin, I previously opened up a Latios EX tin for a pack of against the Poke Capital that you guys should go check out. It was like a terrible tin opening because I like got nothing. So hopefully we do better, better in this one, but I mean, you can you can still go check them both out and enjoy yourselves. Alright, so we're going to cut the top. Hopefully we can get some awesome pulls because this is this is kind of stressful. Like, this is, this is nerve-wracking. I, I have to admit, I'm kind of nervous right now because if we win this, then we progress on and get a chance to make it to the next round. And then if we don't win, then our... Pretty much our, our dreams are like just dead we just like we're done so um but you know even if we do lose there's season two so it's all good like we just we gotta be patient and it'll all happen so there's a look at the hoopa um and i'll give you guys a quick 360 i don't think we need to go into too much detail we like the camera focus that got a little bit better all right anyways so there's a quick 360 I'm going to go ahead and carefully pull off the lid, and we will set that off to the side, and we can carefully pull out the beautiful Hoopa EX promo card. There you go, guys. I believe this is like an actual, like, or not actual, this is like the same attacks as the ones from the set, so the only thing that's changed is the artwork, so yeah, it's very cool looking. So we will go ahead and set that off to the side. I will try to carefully pull that out later. Here we have the code card, and I believe it also unlocks an online deck, so yeah, that's cool. And so inside we have four different packs it's like super cool and fancy so we have two ancient origins one roaring skies and one primal clash so you know what we are going to have an ancient origin sandwich and then we're going to have some primal clash so we're going to begin with the primal clash we got the mega agron on the front hopefully we can pull some awesomeness i am actually missing a mega gardevoir full art from this set so if we pull that that would be awesome the uh, competitive Pick from Ancient or er, Ancient Origins. What am I saying? Primal Clash. The, the competitive pick from Primal Clash is a Bunnelby Ancient Trait. So hopefully we can pull some of those. Oh, codes are facing the wrong way. Let's carefully pull that around. All right. So it looks like we're starting off with a Bidoof, guys. Like that's just a sign from the Bidoof God that um, this is going to be an awesome pack. So. We're gonna begin with the blessed Bidoof. It's not the ancient trait Bidoof though, so maybe it's a bad sign, maybe it's a good sign. I guess we just gotta find out, right? So Bidoof, Horsey, Chinchow, Tynamo, Nidoran, Freshwater Set, Weakness Policy, Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick. The reverse is a, is a Tentacool, which is a reverse um, uncommon. I thought it was a rare, that awkward moment. And then we have a Wall Rain, so no points for the first pack. That, that just, that's depressing. It's okay though, it's okay. You guys ready for your Ancient Origins sandwich? Open wide, guys. Take a nice bite. Um, um, did it taste good? It better taste good. Did it taste like winning? You, you guys let me know. You guys are going to know before me because, you know, if you can taste the winning, then that's usually, that, that's a good sign, right? That means that we're going to win this. But then if it tastes like losing, then, well, that's just, that's, that's sad. All right, let's carefully pull the code out. Um, I wish Pokemon would just make the codes face the right way. Like, seriously. You trying to make my job hard? It's not even a job, but anyways, next pack. For Ancient Origins, the competitive pick is an Ariados, so if we pull an Ariados, we get an extra point. Um, so we have an Oddish, Eevee, Gloom, Wooper, Spinarak, almost, almost Ariados, not quite, <laughs> Matang, Curlia, Lucky Helmet, a Meowth Reverse, and a Volcarona Ancient Trade. Zero points, that's, that's just depressing. All right, Roaring Skies, the competitive pick from Roaring Skies is Trainer's Mail. And then also, like, if you pull a Shaman, that's, like, instant win, or at least an instant win in my heart, you know. But, um, yeah, that, that card would, like, easily pay for the tin right here. Um, so, yeah, let's carefully pull this out. I have a feeling the codes will be facing the wrong way again, so we're just gonna 
pull it out awkwardly like this and then pull it out. All right, it worked, it worked, fine. All right, so next pack, Roaring Skies. I really like this set, by the way, guys. Like, this is one of my favorite sets. All right, so we have a Whirlpool, Ninkata, Binacle, Spiro, Dunsparce, Ultra Ball. That that was like, that's a pretty good card as well. I'm surprised that this wasn't the competitive pick. Um, Ninjask, Shellgon, so it looks like no trainer's mail in this pack. We did get an Absol Reverse, so that is one point right there, because that's a Reverse Rare, and an Articuno Ancient Trait. But it's okay, we got one point, so at least we won't like, our, our final battle, you know, if we lose, we won't, we can't say that we got, like, zero points, because that would just be terrible. So, at least we got one point. So, final pack, the shiny Rayquaza. Let's see if he can bring us the epicness to beat Tim L. Pokemon and his Hartford Houndings. So, we will carefully pull out the code card, and then we will awkwardly flip it this way. We got this. We, we're getting better at it. All right. Final pack, three and two as usual. Again, the competitive pick from this pack is the from this set is the Ariados. So we got the Spinarak back. Guys, guys, seriously, like, two Spinaraks, they, they add up to become one Ari Ariados, right? Like, can I get, like, half a point, half a point equals one point? No? Okay, I tried, I tried. Beldum, Wooper, Golurk, Larvesta, Flash Energy, Flash. Okay, that didn't work. Faded Town, Whimsicott, Ariados Reverse, which is also the uh, competitive pick, so that's just, that's awesome. So, um, I get one point right there, and a Reggie Rock. Oh, I, I hate these Reggies. I hate you. Alright, so, two points, I don't know, like, I feel like that's not very good for, like, four packs. I feel like we could have done better, so I have a feeling Tim won this one, but honestly, the luck is, like, all over the place. You never know. So, yeah, um... If this is my final battle for the MLPB, I had a lot of fun. This was just, this was awesome. Um, if you're coming from Tim's channel and you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like and, I don't know, maybe subscribe. We can become, like, BFFs, like, tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!